Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. No, been it's been a while that I haven't really uploaded a video, but I'm back. You know, I've been busy, 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 really busy. Anyways, today I'm going to do a little unboxing of this uh, hood struts uh, for my car. I have a 2008 Toyota Avalon. This is the limited edition. It'll work for. I'm gonna say from maybe from the 2005 all the way to the 12. I don't know about the newer ones. And if your hood struts is bad or it's like mine, you could just easily order them off of uh, eBay. It's very cheap. Probably gonna spend like 20 something dollars for the two. And I got it for a good deal. I can't even, to tell you guys the truth, I don't even know how much I got it for, but it was a good deal. But I got it off of eBay. This is what it looked like. It looks like I'm gonna open it up. And of course it's two of them. So I think I got it for like 20 something dollars. I'm not sure. I gotta go back into my um I gotta go back into my my phone and try to look and see how much that I really got them for. So uh it's by Boxy B O X I it said high pressure well it said do not open and it said high pressure so that's what they say on here but this is how it looked this is the hood struts for my car because the one that's for my hood they're bad every time when i lift it up they're gonna just it's gonna just fall back down it's not it don't have the i guess the spring or the bearing whatever in here is bad uh so i'm gonna replace them it's two of them as I said, you could check out eBay and eBay will, you could find whatever car, whatever car um, making model, so you won't go wrong. That's what I like about eBay now, a long time ago. Sometimes you see a picture of something then you purchase it when you get it, it's the wrong thing. Now they actually ask you for your making model that you put in to make sure it fits the exact vehicle. So this is this this is the other one. I just didn't open it yet. It's two of them, and of course it comes with a manual to tell you how to uh, how to install it. As you can see right here, and you know I don't really look at manuals, and I don't really do none of this. I did it before, and I can't even remember. But I'm what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just look at the old one remove the old one and install it install the new one once i'm uh once i well once i'm removing the old one so that's what i'm gonna do and this is all i want to share with you guys today it didn't take long i think it took like it took like less than a week to come or maybe because i wasn't even paying attention it took like less than a week to come in the mail uh, it came in the regular mail, uh, United States uh, Postal Service. It came. I don't think it, it it came by FedEx or nothing. And they have, and they had had a, a tracking num tracking number that came with it as well. So it come with the normal track, the normal postal service, the U.S. Postal Service. If you out of state or somewhere else, I don't know what they call you guys own, but. It gonna ship like regular mail, or maybe if it's out of state, they, they probably use FedEx or UPS. Yeah, FedEx or UPS. I don't know about D DHL. They probably use them too. I, I I I don't know. I'm not sure. But that's all I want to share with you guys. I just want to do a little unboxing and show you guys how the hood, the hood struts look like. And I am going to. I am. I need to install these new ones on my car because my my hood is not holding up as i said when you open it and pull it up the old ones the spring the bearing is gone it's no good so it, it'll fall back down and my oil change coming to do soon i have like let me check my mileage uh 4850 miles i think my light usually come on like around 5000 miles so I have like another thousand miles, I think. I got less than a thousand miles. Actually, no, nah, because they got the the about that, like about a thousand miles left and some change, maybe about that. 
I have left for me to do an oil change. And when I'm do, doing my oil change, I want to lift up my hood. I want to remove everything. I don't want to be, oh, let me grab a piece of wood or my extension to hold up my hood. I hate doing all that extra work. You know me, I'm a lazy guy. I love to work quick. And not only work quick, I love to do everything correctly and the right way without wasting any time that I don't have to waste, you know? If you guys know what I'm talking about. But if your car have the hood strut, the hood strut, and they're bad, the best place you could order them off of is eBay because it's very cheap. It's fast shipping. They have different pricing, different brand. If you try to go to Advance or go to AutoZone or any auto part store, these run for like 70 something dollars a piece, something like that. I remember I checked. I really got to double check. I don't want to stay you guys wrong, but you guys could look, could look it up yourself. Go into one of those auto store websites that's in your area or O'Reilly's and check how much is your hood strut. And I guarantee, it, I think it's going to be like over $50. They're very expensive. And just for one, not even the two, for one a piece each. So I got this for like probably 20 something dollars, maybe 17, 17, 17 to 20 something dollars. And I got two of them. So I don't have to worry. And these going to last a long time because my car is a 2008 and they just recently went bad. So how, how much years is that? That's like about 13, 13 years, 13 or 14 years, something like that. So I'm going to make a video how to install them. Cause I know a lot of people don't even know how to install them. I, I got to look at my old video. I did it before. I can't remember. Most likely you're probably going to need like a, a flat head to remove the, uh, the clip from the old one, but I'm gonna show you guys. And I'm I'm happy because, man, these stuff are real good. I hate when you gotta open up the hood and you feel me, and it's not staying up, it keep falling down. Uh, some Toyotas, also Lexuses have them. Different cars have them, some don't. Some still carry the old fashioned one that when you lift it up, you got that little stick to put it and hold it up some have that one some don't some have the one that as you pop your hood you go you lift it up and it hold up itself i like that but yeah guys that's all i want to share with you guys uh unboxing the hood strut and i'm gonna make another video installing them and i hope you guys learn something from this video i don't know leave a like a comment subscribe to your boy you know it's been a while. I haven't uploaded a video. I miss you guys' video. I got to do a lot of catching up on a lot of different people's videos. I don't know, man. Have a happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Thanksgiving to you guys. <laughs> but yes, that's all I want to share with you guys. Peace out. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless. I'm out of here until I upload the the next video that I'm going to do the uploading, the installation video when I work on that next one. So peace out to you guys. Hope you guys happy. Hope you guys enjoy this video. You know, a lot of people don't know about cars. A lot of people don't even know what is this, but I will show you guys. This is what holds up the hood. It goes in, it's, it goes down and it comes up. It, I'm not going to be able to do it here because you got to install it first. I can't use my manpower. I end up me messing it up. So, yeah. And that's all, right? That's all. I, I think I'll cover everything. I already did the unboxing. i uh, show you guys. And the name of the place is uh, Boxby. Boxby, that's the name of the company. As I said, they have different brands, different companies. Some cheaper, some expensive. Uh, it depends on the brand of your car. Different people sell on eBay. Different companies sell on eBay. Got cheap parts and very good parts. Not only cheap, but good as well. You don't want to buy something cheap and they're no good. So that's 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 it. That's about it.
So guys, peace, thank you, God bless, and I'm out of here, man. Bye-bye.